Welcome back to Infigan, my dear friends. In this video, we have another very interesting question from algebra. The given equation is x plus 1 whole power 8 equal to 1. And we have to find out all 8 solutions. So let's get started by writing the most powerful algebraic identity a square minus b square equal to a plus b times a minus b. And this identity we will use while solving. Now let us consider our substitution. Let x plus 1 equal to y. So our equation will become y power 8 equal to 1 or y power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can write y power 8 as y power 4 and then whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now this identity will be there. So I will be writing here y power 4 plus 1 times y power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. Let me write here y power 4 plus 1 times y power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. So y power 4 plus 1 as it is. And here we can write this is y square whole square minus 1 whole square rh is 0. Now again we can apply the difference of two squares formula. So I will be writing y square plus 1 times y square minus 1 and y power 4 plus 1 unchanged. So I can write y power 4 plus 1 times y square plus 1 times and here I can apply the difference of two squares identity once again. So we can write y plus 1 times y minus 1 equal to 0. So one very strong conclusion which we can write from here, it would be y power 4 plus 1 will be 0 or y square plus 1 equal to 0 or y plus 1 equal to 0 or y minus 1 will be 0. Let us solve these four equations one by one. From first one we will get four solutions. From second one we will get two solutions. From here we will be having one solution and from the last equation we will have the last solution. So overall 4 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1, 8 solutions we will get. Let us consider our first equation. So I will write y power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. I will add 2y square and subtract 2y square. So I will write y power 4 plus 2y square. Then plus 1 and then minus 2y square equal to 0. Now this is one perfect square. It is whole square of y square plus 1. And then we can write 2y square as root 2 times y whole square. Now a square minus b square. If this bracket is a, this bracket is b, then we can apply difference of squares once again. So I will be writing y square plus 1 plus root 2y. In other bracket y square plus 1 minus root 2y equal to 0. So from here I can write y square plus root 2y plus 1 equal to 0 or y square minus root 2y 
plus 1 equal to 0. So we have to solve these two quadratic equations one by one. This is first one and this is second one. Let us solve. Let me club both the equations y square plus minus root 2y and then plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. So I will be writing y equal to minus b. So plus minus root 2 will change into minus plus root 2 plus minus square root of b square. So plus minus root 2 whole square will be 2 minus 4ac 4 times 1 times 1 4 divided by 2a so 2. Now I can write minus plus root 2 and here I can write square root of minus 2 which will become i times square root 2 divided by 2 and denominator 2 I can write root 2 times root 2. So I can write here after dividing by root 2. So I can write minus plus this will be 1 plus minus this will be only i root 2 will be cancelled out from the denominator root 2 and 1 root 2 will be left in the denominator. So this is our solution of first quartic equation I would say. So there are four complex solutions. Now I will consider four solutions and all are complex. Now let us consider second equation y square plus 1 equal to 0. So I can write here y square and plus 1 I can write minus i square as we know i is equal to square root of minus 1. So i square will be minus 1. So I have written minus i square means plus 1 equal to 0. Now I can apply difference of two squares formula. So y plus i in one bracket y minus i in other bracket equal to 0. So from here I can write y plus i equal to 0 or y minus i equal to 0. So conclusion is clear. From here we will be having minus i and from this equation I will be having y equal to i. Overall i. Overall we can write from this quadratic equation we have two complex solutions plus and minus i. So far six complex solutions done. Now I will consider bracket third and fourth. It was y plus 1 equal to 0 and y minus 1 this is fourth equal to 0. So I can write y is equal to negative 1 and from here y equal to positive 1. So overall y is equal to plus minus 1. The two real values or two real solutions. Now I will be writing our solutions all 8. So plus minus 1. Then plus minus i. Then I will write minus plus 1 plus minus i divided by root 2. Now y was our substitution. y was x plus 1 this bracket. So I will write here x plus 1 equal to plus 1 minus 1 plus minus i and this complex value as it is plus minus 1 plus minus i divided by square root 2. Now take away 1 from both sides, we will get our final solutions. So x will be equal to plus 1 minus 1, 0, minus 1 minus 1, minus 2. Then I will be writing minus 1 plus minus i 
and then I will be writing minus 1 and then I will write minus plus i plus minus over root 2 and here I will be writing plus. So this is our final solution and this brings the end of the video. Thank you friends for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Take care of yourself. Goodbye.